Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2016 tutorial and this is the 10th video in this series and in this video I am going to show you read only domain control installation step by step so basically what is a read only domain control we have option RODC to like um, promote any domain control which on a site for uh, like uh, security purpose or anything which does not require uh, everything to sync from main domain controllers to uh, RODC such as like writable domains to read only domains so we'll see how it's work and how to install and promote the read only domain controller so first here is I uh, my demo environment I am using two virtual machine in this video the first machine is win 2k16 dc01 which is um, my domain control you can see my domain name here victorinfosol.com let's verify this so here you can see my local server win 2k16 dc01 domain control name is Vic, uh, domain name is victorinfosol.com here we have a lan ip and on a dashboard you can see i have installed active directory and dns role on in this machine so let's check a uh, few things related to domain control first so if you go here on victor info soul i click uh, on domain control you can see we have only one domain control here which is global catalog domain control and properties you can see it's running on global catalog and it's running on windows server 2016 standard edition so same we need to promote uh, one domain control which is read only so here is the machine win2k16 rodc01 you can see we, we need to configure ip address and uh, every detail here so before uh, before it you can see here this is my machine so this is freshly installed machine i have not configured anything yet so we need to start from initial just assume this is a fresh machine i have installed windows and done the windows patching that's all so let's do the um, uh, basic task so the first thing I need to configure the IP address for like RODC so I'm going to disable IPv6 IPv4 I'm going to configure as per given my network or my so here you have to be clear you need to put the preferred DNS itself RODC IP address and secondary you can put, mm, put like your uh, your PDC or any do any uh, uh, local DNS if you have a remote DNS so I have configured the IP address and put it LAN so it can be identified this connection is being used for LAN only now go and rename the server so I'm going to type win 2 k 16 rodc 01 click OK and now it's time to reboot the machine so after reboot we will install active directory domain control roles and will promote this server as a domain cutter so wait for machine to get reboot So it's rebooted now. Control to Dell. And now to uh, before promoting this uh, machine as a domain control, you have two options. Either you can join this machine in domain and then you can install, or you can go ahead and um, like specify the domain credential during the promotion. So uh, so to be a safer site, I want to join this machine in domain. Then we will promote as active directory server so put here like domain name so here I have put the credential to join this machine in domain and after reboot we are good to go and promote this server as it read only domain control so we have basically done three tasks we we have renamed this machine we have joined this machine in domain and we have configured the IP address as per our network infrastructure or domain structure so wait 
wait for machine to reboot now you can see machine is rebooted press control to Dell to log in and now I'm going to log in with my domain admis main domain administrator account which is administrator in my case so my domain administrator which have all the privilege so to avoid any difficulties during the RODC promotion so just wait for a few seconds this is a new profile which is being locally created on this machine so might be it will take some time So here we have we have logged into RODC machine. Now I'm going to add manage, add role and features, click next, and we need to select the role base and or feature base because actually like is a role based installation. So select your server, click next. Now we need to select Active Directory domain services and add required features and click next and leave the defaulted features click next and just click on the install button to initiate the installation for active directory domain services so this option will take some time and then we can go ahead and promote this server so wait for it Installation is completed now click on promote this server to a domain controller and now we have option here to add a domain controller existing for us existing domain so we are going to do this because ROTC is the same um, is a basically a same a domain controller in the same uh, domain controller in the same domain which is required only a, a read only domain controller so wait for it so leave the default like uh, DNS to be installed and uh, this server has uh, act as a global catalog and we need to select here read only domain controller because I want to promote this server as a read only domain controller so now put the credential here and click next and we have here option de uh, delegated administrator account so account that are allowed to replicate per replicate password or uh, groups which are like uh, denied to replicate the password so we'll check this once the machine is promoted as a read only domain controller so click next leave it default and we have a sync option replication option so I have only one domain control so I have selected manually and if, if you have multiple domain control at multiple sites then you can go ahead and select the um, nearest uh, nearest uh, domain control or the uh, server which having the good band uh, network bandwidth for this machine uh, like uh, between domain control and read only domain control so click next now we have a uh, active directory database path and log path so leave it default click next and we have here all the options like read only domain control yes so click next now it will check for some pre requests. So, all pre requests check passed successfully. Click uh, install to begin. So, I'm going to click install, and now you can see checking for RODC appears. So, we, this is running the RODC uh, setup um, where this uh, survey is going to promote as a read only domain controller. So, once the machine is promoted as a um, domain controller, it will it will automatically take one reboot to enable the uh, directory services on this machine so also you can verify after the reboot DNS is installed and global catalog information is there in domain control so almost done it will not take too long because this is a press infrastructure if you have a, a big infrastructure which is uh, containing uh, many objects like computer or anything then it will require some time so here you can see you are about to sign out because my computer is going to reboot now so wait for it
Now see the computer is being restarted because Active Directory solution. So here you can see machine is getting restart. And now if you go on main domain controller, you can verify what is going there. So if I refresh here, you can see the my machine is listed here and you can see the DC type is read only and global catalog. If I go to properties, here you can see global catalog information and we'll show you how to verify the read only domain controller. So let's wait for this machine to come up again so applying computer settings so wait for it So hit control at Dell and log into server. You can go and hide this screen from here. So give it some time, then it will give it a roles here so now you can see we have three roles total so active directory and dns is installed successfully and here you can go to tools and dns and you can see dns is installed here the information has been synced from primary to DNS so good to go go ahead and close this and if I go here and click on active deck users and computers and if I right click here and click on uh, let's verify domain control information here you can see also the RODC is read only and global catalog and if I go here and click on change domain controller and if I go and select the uh, our RODC and click OK and it will give you the pop-up the selected domain controller is a read only you will not be able to perform any write operations like um, anything which you need to write in your domain services you can't write so go ahead and connect now you can see here we are connected with the RODC only so this is we, you can verify the read only domain control and few I'm going to give you the few tips here related to RODC if I if you go to domain controllers and select your RODC and go to properties you can see here we have a password replication policy and you can see for which account we have allowed the um, RODC password replication group so we have one group here which is uh, if you add any account in this uh, in this group then you are able to like add the uh, uh, pa you, you can allow the password replication for here and if I go to advance you can see the information account for storing password uh, for which password is stored in read-only domain controller so account that have been authenticated to this do read-only domain controller so we have everything here so if you want to add you can go ahead and add here so also you can go here and add any user and computer account so which require authentication from from your RODC so So this is all about installing and configuring and verifying the RODC domain controller. So we have done all the step like join machine in domain, install our uh, Active Directory D uh, DNS role, uh, Active Directory domain services role, promote server as a read only, and we have also verified the uh, read only domain controller installation. So, 
so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye